throughout the history of human evolution, people have used their abilities to adapt, survive and progress. These skills help them create better lives, improve society and share knowledge with different groups. By acquiring various skills, humans evolved and adjusted to new changes. That's why it's crucial to develop the skills needed for our continually evolving society. Sports for Development or S4D is a tool that harnesses the power of sport to address social issues and promote positive change in society. S4D refers to the intentional use of sports and physical activity to achieve specific development and peace objectives. It is often employed to promote social integration, economic development and conflict resolution in various cultural and political contexts. In today's world, 21st century skills are crucial for both personal and professional success. They are not limited to one specific area. Instead, they apply in many different situations. It's essential for young people to learn these skills, providing them with the tools needed to succeed in this complex world. In this module, we are going to learn about what 21st century skills are, their relevance in today's world, and how sports and physical activity can be considered effective mediums for the development of these skills. Let's learn more about the subject from the expert, Yoon Song Kim, Gender Equality and Social Inclusion Specialist at UNESCO. When you play sports, it, you don't think about where this person is from, what language do they speak, are they male or female, or are they other genders, what's their sexual orientation, you just commit and have fun. Of course, there are certain rules, and as long as you stick to the rules, you can engage. And through that, I think people naturally learn in a fun way that you can collaborate and communicate with people that you not know nothing about. And even if they're, I don't know, from a different religion, from people, backgrounds that you should normally not talk to, on the playing field, you have a great time. And that's an excellent way of naturally making people realize that there are more commonalities between us rather than things that divide us. So I think that's the biggest potential sports has to really bring us together. At the individual level, I think sports really allows you to work on certain skills. You're not great at sports from the beginning. You need to put in effort, you need to make sure that you have discipline and you know keep track of that. So it really hones self-discipline, it, it, it develops, I don't know, training skills. And at an individual, that's a very good quality that goes beyond sports. Even in, at UNESCO, at work, at, at school, these are very important skills. And at the community level, I think people with these skill sets that are advanced in discipline, in communication, in teamwork, it makes it easier for different people from different backgrounds to com come together and work together. So I think there is a definite element of benefits at the individual level, but also at, this, at the community level for social cohesion, for communication and, and uh, peaceful, inclusive societies. So I think we need to first define what 21st century skills are. 21st century skills is an overarching term. You know, we use different ways to talk about it. Global citizenship education is another one. But a lot of the core components, which also UNESCO defines in its um, competency framework for 21st century skills, key pillars are things like creativity, critical thinking, communication, collaboration, skills that really allows you to engage with people from all different parts of the world. And India has a lot of diversity, so it's an excellent place to really test try the 21st century skills because it has as much diversity as it has around the world. But then how does sport relate to critical thinking, collaboration, creativity, um, you know, all, all of these 21st century skills we're talking about? Again, 
If you put kids in a classroom and teach them this is critical thinking, it's extremely ineffective. They're going to get bored. So you need to think of very innovative ways of kids in our century right now where you have YouTube, Instagram, all these fun things. We have to compete with these exciting mechanisms and make them understand these core competencies. And sports, because it's fun, because you're moving your body, because you're doing it with other people, you engage. It is exactly that kind of innovative way of teaching certain skills and values in a fun way, that without sitting and, and reading books, of course those are important too. But that's why I think there's a lot of potential in using sports and linking it to 21st century skills and really captivating our audience, which is future students, and make, making sure that they have these skills at the end of the day, competing against social media. So I think that's, that's uh, the huge benefit of using sports in 21st century school. Well, so I'm here working at the UNESCO Regional Office in New Delhi, so, and we cover six countries in South Asia. I work very closely with the Global Headquarters, which um, promotes UNESCO's flagship sports program, which is called Fit for Life. Now, because I sit at the regional level and coordinator with headquarters, I have a more global view. I can, I can see um, a bigger view of the sports landscape around the world. And I must say, it's quite promising for India. India, to start with, it includes sports education and it emphasizes the importance of sports education in its national education policy. That's a big thing. Now, translating policy into action and implementation and budget, that's a different area, but still, you know, the fact that it's included in the policy, it's a good thing. Secondly, in terms of stakeholders, the, the grassroots level organizations, the foundations, the corporates, um, you know, that vibrant ecosystem exists in India. And a lot of people are really interested to put a lot more investments and work on the issue of sports for development because they understand. Now, can we make this ecosystem stronger? Can we build this architecture stronger with better coordination to make sure that investments are going into impactful results? Yes, of course we can make that stronger, but that's why UNESCO is here. That's why we're working with a lot of the partners in India to strengthen the system. And hence, I think the future of sports for development in India is extremely bright and a lot of potential.